What's up guys, today I wanna to cover a topic that many times a lot of people forget about and some of you may not even know about and that's marking paste, also known as a torque seal. So today we'll be looking at two of the most popular brands and we'll show you how it works and how they can benefit you. So let's dive right into this and you guys come take a look. All right, guys, as I mentioned in the intro, today I wanna to cover a topic called torque seal, as it's a common slang in the industry, if you will. And that is simply a term that we use for a marking paste to ensure that a nut or bolt has been torqued down and gives you a visual reference to make sure that it hasn't moved, either by vibration or tampering. It's just a simple paste that you use to go across the threads of a bolt with a nut on it, or in a case like this, you can go across um, the actual part and up onto the nut and onto the threaded portion of the bolt. And that gives you a quick visual reference to ensure that the nut has been torqued as you're working on the project. And as it goes down the road in the future, it gives you a quick visual reference that nothing has moved either from vibration or tampering. There's many uses of torque seal in many different applications in the automotive world. A lot of times we'll use it on oil drain plugs to ensure that they have been torqued down. And if a customer comes back and accuses you of not torquing the, the drain plug and their car is out of oil, you can always check it to make sure that the torque seal has not been broken. If it's been broken, you know one of two things has happened. Either the customer has taken it loose, or frankly, you just didn't tighten it down when you did it. So therefore, it's a good practice after you take your torque wrench off of something to go ahead and mark it with a marking paste, and that way you can assure it has been torqued and you know for a fact there's a visual indicator there that's going to help you going forward to ensure that it does not come loose or it has not been tampered with. The two types that I want to talk to you about today is cross-check torque seal by Dicom. As you can see, they have eight different colors. This is the two that we use here in the shop, the pink and the yellow and also a brand new company called Type E. You notice this is a lot smaller tube. This is a half ounce tube, where these are a one ounce tube. We'll cover the cost and also the differences between the two liquids as we move through this test. One of the things I do like about DICOM is they send you a certificate of analysis. I'll put a picture of that here and that way you guys can see it. And the certificate of analysis shows the part number, the formula, the lot number, the dry time test, and the appearance test. It also shows the date of manufacture and the expiration. And you may ask yourself, what good is this certificate? Well, if you ever have to go to court over something and you've used their product, it shows that the product was used in the date from when it was purchased until it, the expiration date. And it also has the lot number showing that it was approved to their standards. And it also gives a little bit of backbone to the quality of the product in a courtroom situation. One of the cool things about Type E is they, when they're building their formula for theirs, they add a DNA strand into the marking paste and it can be identified later if in a courtroom situation that it was indeed your marking paste. They will also build a formula for you that has the DNA as well as the UV if you prefer. One of the features of the type E marking paste is they put a DNA strand into the production when they're making each one of these batches. The good thing about that is it's always in that paste. So further on down the road, if you need to ensure that yes, that was my torque seal that was on that product, they can pull that sample, DNA test it, and confirm it comes back to this exact lot and this exact batch which you purchased. So that's a great advantage that Type E has. Also, you can have them build this formula for you with the UV dye in it. So that allows for a quick inspection. 
Now, DICOM also has the UV dye in some of their products that can allow for a quick inspection with a black light and pinpoint you right to the product. Having the UV dye in the product actually is a benefit to anybody doing a quick inspection. With a UV light, it will pinpoint it straight to where it's at. It's a quick visual reference to ensure that nothing has moved, nothing has vibrated, and nothing has been tampered with. The UV feature allows you to use a UV light that will quickly grab your attention and be able to bring focus on the part that you're looking at. And some customers, including in large fleets, will require you to use a tamper-proof marking paste such as this with a UV function in it just to grab the attention and make it easier on their inspectors when they're doing their routine maintenance on their trailers or trucks, especially on steering components or suspension components. What I've done to kind of show you the example and also show you how these products work, I've got an old accumulator dryer here and you can see it's got the studs on it. And each one of these, all I've done was taken a regular nut this is going to simulate a part that's on the vehicle. It's just a nut that's larger than the, the stud. We'll put a washer on it and we'll tighten down the nut. As you see, this side has cross check written on it. That's what we will use these for. And this side has type E. That's what we'll use this for. We'll apply it, we'll let it dry. And then we'll move forward in the test and we'll break the seal on it so you guys can see actually how it works. One of the things I like about the Type E is it's fast dry and it will wipe off your hands extremely well. It is a 500 degree heat resistant and it cures and fully cures in 24 hours. It's also a low VOC formula and it's made right here in the United States. It only takes a small amount of both of these products. A lot of people will overuse it, but it's only an eight to a quarter inch mark that you have to use widthwise across the area that you're working on. And I'll demonstrate that in just a minute. The costs are kind of about the same. These here were actually about $4.80 a tube, and they run up to about nine to $10 on Amazon according to the sellers. They're available all over the internet so you can kind of price range, they're kind of everywhere. But with this, purchasing it from the company that I did, by the time I paid for the, the, um, the actual tube plus the shipping, it run out to about $9 a tube. The Type E runs about $10 a tube and it's got about a $3.25 to $3.50 flat rate shipping on them. So they're pretty close to the same price. You only get a half ounce tube here, you get a one ounce tube here. So that's enough about the technical stuff. Let's try this out and I'll show you guys how it works. All right, like I explained a while ago, both of these are set up the same way. You can see each one's got a stud. The bottom nut, this is larger than the stud is actually gonna simulate a part. We have a washer and the nut. We're going to tighten each one of these down. And then we're going to apply the type E on this side and cross check on this side. And I'll show you how it looks when it's applied. It's super simple. We'll start up here. We'll just run a thin line down to there. All right, so that's the cross check on the cross check side. And we'll take the type E open it up and we'll do the exact same thing on this side. We'll start at the top and we'll work our way down. All right, you guys can see that. You can see how the cross check is a little bit thinner, thinner than the type E. The type E has more of a mustard consistency, but you can see how it got on the bottom where it's going to be the actual vehicle or whatever that you're working with. We went up across the part and then up all the way to the threads. And you can see the cross checks a little bit thinner 
Like I say, the Type E is a brand new product. It just come out to my knowledge. I've just learned about them. This is the first time I've actually used the product. I've used the cross check a lot. Um, I do like the way it works. The Type E, I believe, is going to be a better product. I like the consistency of it better as far as the, I like the texture of the Type E better. It seems like it can make a cleaner line and it doesn't feel like you use as much of the product as you do of the cross check. Of course, this is thinner than this. This, like I say, has a, the consistency of mustard. So we'll let this dry for at least a full 24 hours and then we'll come back and we'll break the seal and we can compare how each one of them work as far as um, the seal being broken and that way you guys can take a look at it. So like I say, we'll let it dry for at least 24 hours and then we'll come back and check it. All right guys, as you can see, your test is um, still in the same spot it was and we've let it set for a little over 24 hours. Um, so we'll crack these loose and we'll show you guys what it looks like when the torque seal's broken. So we'll start here on this side with the cross check. And then we'll do the type E. All right, as you can see, both of them done exactly what they're designed to do. They broke the seal. And you can see the difference in how they look. That one is type E. That one is the Dichrome cross check. And that's what they look like. All right, as you can see, it gives a very good visual reference of any vibration or tampering that's been done with the nut or bolt. Even when you tighten it back down in the same position, let me get it back to where we're at. Even when tightened back down, you can still see the line is broken on both of them. It's extremely valuable for any kind of steering component or suspension components, brake parts, uh, oil drain plugs, oil filters, anything that may have any kind of vibration on it in, in like uh, off-road, four-wheel drive, rock crawling, racing, anything like that. It's, it's extremely valuable to use something like this to help you kind of visualize and do a quick check on your, all your equipment prior to using it or after use to make sure that nothing vibrated loose. I know in the aviation industry, it's an extremely popular product that they use. Um, it's just another resource that you can add in your arsenal of tools to help you do your job a little better and ensure quality control. Both of these products are extremely good. Um, after looking at them and using them, this is the first time that I've used the Type E. I definitely like the consistency of it and I like the way it broke. I like the fact that it dries to the touch in 20 seconds, so that aids in, you know, kind of moving forward with projects as you're working on them, the dry time's a lot less. Another one of the things I want to do real quick is use a black line on them, and that way you can guys can kind of see if you're doing an inspection, you can use a black light and see how they show up. Now I have no idea how these will work under black light conditions with a light in the studio, but we'll give it a shot. All right, so I have my black light here and we're going to hit both of these with the UV light and that way you guys can kind of see what they look like. So let me kill the lights. I have no idea how this is gonna work, so it's kind of a first for me. So let's kill the lights. All right, so everything's completely pitch black. As you can see, when I get the UV light close to it, the cross check, the diacom definitely shows up and the type E does not. It actually looks sort of a reddish color under the black light and you can see how the cross check appears very well. It's uh, extremely bright, shows up really well. So that's um, one of the features that I like about the Dicom cross check. When you're using a black light, it really helps to show where the busted places are if you're doing an inspection. So that's one of the features that cross check has that type E doesn't. Let me get the lights back on and we'll talk a little more. All right guys, so we've kind of covered about all the bases that you can with both of the products that I have here, which is the Dicom Cross Check and the Type E. Both of them are high quality products. 
Um, you can see both of them work as designed. I prefer the way the Type-E breaks. I prefer the consistency and the texture of Type-E. I like the fact that it dries faster and dries to the touch in 20 seconds. I do like the fact with cross-check, you can use it with UV lights and it does show up extremely well. But anyway guys, hopefully this shows you something that may add to your tool arsenal, that may help you in your jobs, help you with quick identification of loosened or vibration damage to fasteners, as well as tampering. Anyway guys, that's the video today. Be sure to check out both of these products. I'll try to link them below. Um, Type E seems to be a little bit better as far as the way it goes on. I like the consistency and the texture of it and the fact that it dries in 20 seconds or dries to the touch in 20 seconds, I should say. The only negative that I have with it, it does not show up under a black light. I do really like that feature. It makes a lot faster inspections when we're looking for damage to, you know, the, the marking paste on fasteners that we've used it on. I do also like the fact that they include DNA and all of theirs, and that way if something does happen and there is a lawsuit involved, you are protected to make sure that that was your marking paste. But anyway, guys, that's the video that we have today. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. It's totally free. never costs you a dime. Links will be below to both of these products, so check them out. You guys have a great week, and we will catch you next time.